DC today, this lovely Wednesday. Today is February the 21st. And uh, we actually closed up on the market today, which was nice. We uh, opened a little positive or lower for most of the day until about an hour before the close and then ended up closing at the highs. We closed up 48 points on the Dow, which is great. Um, big news, I guess, for the day. I guess there were a few things. Um, the Fed minutes were released from their January meeting, uh, most of which was a reiteration of what Powell commented in his uh, in his statement following the, the meeting itself, and then his press conference afterwards. So you know the 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 need or the want for uh, more confidence is what they keep saying with, to with inflation being at two percent sustainably before they can lower interest rates um, was pretty much across the board. There was definitely more constituents inside of the minutes that were worried about inflation over over restrictive policy causing a slowdown. Um, so you can read into that two ways. I actually look at that as, um, I suppose, glasses half full because, um, you know, the, it, it, them being not concerned or less concerned about the strength of the economy, given all the strength that there is in the economy, is not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And I get that they don't want to have to stop and go like the 70s. I don't get why people compare this era to that era because they're completely totally not even close to the same at all, the causes of inflation and the economy and all those sorts of things. But at the end of the day, uh, if that's what they're, they're concerned about, that's fine. And what we said is basically whether it is, you know, May or June, you know, when they start lowering interest rates or whether it's three times or four times or five, you know, I mean, those things matter and they sort of don't. I mean, at the end of the day, what matters is that the economy is hanging in. Earnings have come coming out pretty good, uh, quite good, actually. And inflation is moving substantially lower. Uh, we have disinflation right now. And, and whether that's in a straight line, like I said, is, is you know, w won't happen. But those are all the good things. And the fact that we've hit peak rates in this business cycle. So the, this rate tightening cycle has ended. Whether they lower at three or four, I don't think really matters personally. So markets will move up and down a little bit on it, but I wouldn't read into that um, overly in it. There was, um, so Fed minutes out today were probably the largest thing. Uh, rates moved up a little bit based on that. They were up uh, five basis points on the 10 year. We closed at 433. So um, top performing sector on the day was energy. It was up almost 2%. Um, couple of uh, uh, company, individual company news, really. There was a, a purchase from Capital One to Discover, uh, which is the largest uh, payment processing purchase that we've seen in, in, in 20 years. Um, since the last time was when B of A bought MBNA. Um, I just mentioned it because the, the deal announced was a 26 premium to current share price, and it's really only trading up 10. So I don't know that the market believes that it'll get through any antitrust hurdles, uh, but meaningful news nonetheless. And um, I guess to keep it on company news, that NVIDIA had earnings out. You know, it's highly anticipated and watched and the news reports on it. So I'm mentioning it here. Obviously, we, you know, we don't own it uh, directly, but... Um, they uh, came in uh, a better than expected uh, as far as what they guided, what the guidance was, but not as not as good as the highest level of expectation. So we'll see how the stock opens tomorrow. Again, you know, it, it's up uh, some six hundred billion dollars in market cap since the last earnings report, and so it's priced to perfection here. So let's see how it how it trades uh, from here going forward. Again, I don't know that for for us it is a is a huge deal either way. Um, but that aside, um, you know, I, I think for the day it was fairly uh, fairly benign. The volatility index was up a little bit, but not a lot. Um, so we're just sort of getting through again more Fed banter uh, tomorrow. We have more data out that I'll go through, more real data, which is things like jobless claims. There's a, uh, existing home sales. There is a, a PMI report out, things like that. So there'll be more economic data to go through tomorrow. Uh, and I look forward to being with you then. For that, this will be sort of a short recording, but I always appreciate you listening very much. And if uh, you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.